Hello Leos, it's me Parker. Welcome and happy birthday. It is your solar return. So I hope you guys are having an awesome birthday time. It is also the new moon in your sign. So those of you who have Leo moon placements as well, or you're watching for a Leo moon placement, you guys will be more affected than most at this time. Yes, it is your solar return if you're watching for a sun placement. Again, happy birthday. But between the sun and the moon in your sign in this new moon cycle on the 16th, um, it's a lot. So I hope you guys are faring well and really enjoying yourselves the energy is not too much for you guys to handle i mean you guys are leos so you know you guys do your thing i'm sure you're doing fine but yeah just wanted to throw that out there so let's jump in this is your reading for august 13th through the 26th so leos what's shaken the angel deck wanted to lead in I don't normally kick off with this deck um, because it's like very specific. I've only done that in the three years I've had this channel. I've only done that like maybe four or five times. Strength to confirm. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's up with Leo's please? Leo's why the angel deck. Oh, nice. Okay, nice. Alrighty. Okay. There's a focus on you in this reading. I like it. Of course there is. It's your reading. We're reading for you. Um, but sometimes it's other people's energy that comes through. This is all about you. Okay. Keep it simple because these cards are very descriptive. So the very first card that came out is Awakening with the Ten of Cups. That's nice. Um, we'll have to get into the cards more. Um, I'm getting a self-care vibe, self-discovery, but it's kind of more than that. Um, and then of course, the Ten of Cups, we all love to see in tarot. So, Awakening, this is um, the Hangman, Archangel Gabriel. I don't know why I'm getting drawn to Archangels um, in this reading. I don't typically work with them, but they are coming through. Gabriel, Jeremiah, Jerem, Jeremiah, <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry, an Archangel Michael and Ariel. There's that your leo energy there the wheel that was showing for everyone i'm so glad that came through but i don't want to get too ahead of myself look at things from a different perspective honoring yourself there we go the something more energy thank you spirit a temporary standstill it's important to be yourself a contented and rewarding family life your emotional and material needs are met trustworthy relationships in this Ten of Cups, sometimes they look very, very creepy to me or judgmental. <laughs> this like kind of feels like taking a little step back and sorting some stuff out regarding your place in your family dynamic, feeling appreciated, honoring yourself in contrast to your emotional connections going on around you i'll put it that way um we have a queen of earth that came out second thoughtful creative warm sensible make time for those around you okay take a sensible approach deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner so this might be kind of a reading for how to balance the two things, right? Stand still, be yourself, your needs are met, trustworthy relationships, right? Making time for those around you, sensible approach, dealing with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Making time for those around you, this feels like meeting those obligations. 
This is kind of screaming maternal energy, the home. What's good? Um, renewal. So death. Queen of Cups. This is all really nice. Understanding, warm, compassionate energy. I wouldn't be surprised if the Empress came out for this. Review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. Positive change. Situation moves forward. Fortune is on your side. Inner strength. Release harsh judgments. Forgiveness and compassion. Discontentment underneath that. Career advancement. Change your life. Some of you might be actually getting into career. And you're trying to kind of balance everything. Something really positive is shifting forward for you guys at this time. And it's really good. The wheel was coming out a ton. Some of you, it's work, going into work. That's the emperor from this deck. And he's kind of in the middle of the wheel there. Very compassionate, sensible energy coming through with these queens here. Time to move in a new direction. Things are changing. Things are changing. Seems to affect you, V, the people around you, particularly family. There's a need to kind of honor yourself, but also sensibly honoring the people around you. It looks really good though. Whatever you guys are getting into with this, um, it's good. Emotional and material needs. Don't forget that. Because we have a Queen of Pentacles showing over here as well. That is your material success. As well. And stability. Tell me about this Ten of Cups that we're looking at for Leo, please. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. One more shuffle for Leo's. What's up? Show me the energy. Hmm. Hmm. There's that Empress right there. Okay, so I would be super surprised if most of the people in this energy group or pod or whatever I'm reading for right now are not married or in a serious committed relationship. Um, this could be business, but I'm seeing it more as venturing out into business from the home. We have a king of pentacles, the king to the queen now. And that Four of Cups, that discontent or boredom energy, missing opportunities. I want to clarify this further because this could definitely be all the same energy, just King and Queen. Or it could be a spouse. It could be a spouse. Yeah, this Empress is going through a trend. Things are changing. For this empress they're going through that renewal that death energy things are looking up here there's some sadness out underneath that i don't want to delve into that too much yeah i'm gonna take it as you guys this empress major for scorpio major for libra a situation is changing fortune is on your side this is abundance this is coming into your own abundance for sure where not just your emotional, but your material needs are met. I want to clarify this king further. Like I said, that's the emperor in there. We have an empress. We have victory and attention. The honoring yourself energy. Oh, wow. Whew. Grab 
started stamps there. Hmm. Okay, this is looking a little different now that I'm seeing this card. For some of you, not for all of you. <clears throat> for some of you, you do have a match here, a king to the queen, who is trying to resurge a relationship here. Trustworthy relationships, content and rewarding family life, emotional and material needs are met. You may have had a glow up and now this person's coming around all of a sudden. Um, I'm just saying that because we have the card of marriage. Again, serving spousal energy here. And judgment can be a reconciliatory energy, like a revival, a resurrection. There we go. Um, especially if super good things are happening for you or you've come into a massive growth of your like financial stability and security. Um, it can be a resurrection energy, but the, those angels look concerned. They're like, mm. they're concerned to watch this happening. Um, I might pull a card for judgment here. This is victory and attention, too. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. I like that. So let's look at this king here. Really quick. To end the reading. Show me this king. Why is the Four of Cups attached to this king? Like I said, it can be that discontented energy. Or it can be straight up rejection. Or missing opportunities. Some of you may be tempted to reject an offer that could be life changing or to roll with the situation on behalf of your family or your spouse. That's some of you. Show me this king's energy, please. Six of wands, interesting. Attention. Success, victory. For those that this is a reconciliatory vibe, they want you to look at them. They want victory in this. They want your affections here. Might look like your hand in marriage. Almost certainly we're talking about, again, you be the people around you in like a marriage sense. Anything else on this king before we look at this? Perhaps anything else on this king? Okay, why the Four of Cups? Why the Four of Cups? Oh, the Six of Cups showed earlier. That's interesting. Death. Two of Wands. You may have a lot of memories with this person. This is the card of memories here. Some of you too are, you know, I don't even want to say that. I was just going to say dealing with family, but not like your family, like your parents and stuff. But this does go back to childhood memories. They may have rejected this opportunity as well. Um, but things are changing with that awakening energy. That's a major shift. This is patterning old ways, memories.
memories of rejection or patterns of rejection here. Or with the self-discovery and honoring yourself, this could look like with death, like branching out into that. Like this is a pattern that you've repeated since childhood with not seizing opportunities and you're taking this one, right? The two of Wands, there's a choice energy there. Celebration. Um, strong waters, celebration, and abundance. Okay. Let's look at this judgment energy. This is just screaming, attention, pay attention to me. I want to see if anything comes out for that. Real quick, why is it calling so much? Wow, it's a lot of money involved here. Ah. That's an offer of commitment. This could be like, oh, but there's a five of swords attached to that. And some, there's a, some illusionary cards here. Somebody is conflicted about, so if it's you, you're conflicted about rejecting opportunities because you're trying to work through this. I don't want to call it a rejection complex, but it's like saying no to opportunities, right? Um, to grow here, that patterning, you're working through that. For others of you, there's this offer for commitment. This looks like straight up a wedding proposal. If this is like this, um, this judgment resurrection energy on behalf of this king. Um, they may have changed too. They may be following suit. And if this is what you want with this person and you've been waiting for them, I mean, the, that death energy is connected to them as well. This is a strong offer for commitment but this is also a contract with the hero fund it doesn't have to be marriage it can also just be you venturing forward because that paying attention to you energy this is hard work like look it's like pentacles 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 coming out success and victory eight to the nine that's hard work and focus and that is having made it huge financial blow up happening for this queen huge anything else regarding this queen to end the reading for leo the sun <laughs> oh my god i just got chills everywhere wow hugely abundant there's a windfall there's a gift or you're just getting yours it's like wow the sun, that is happy outcomes. This person could have also done some healing here regarding like these, this tendency to reject, especially if they were like hot and cold and they're coming at you with like a solid offer here. The sun, happy, happy, joy, joy. It's also your major here. Kids, family is highlighted here, but so is financial abundance and success. Um... It's basking in the sun. It's a lot of abundance. We have the six of pentacles with the two of pentacles. That to me with that two of pentacles, some of you are not disconnected from this king. You are very much in a relationship with this king. Um, and you're just having to wait with your emotional and material needs met. Um, contented and rewarding family life and trustworthy relationships you are growing in this relationship right and you are having to juggle and balance them and your needs right and you know dealing with challenges in a kind and understanding manner moving forward there's like a windfall or a gift or something you know major financial abundance here 
the tower. Lots of scorpionic energy and temperance. Wow, this is good flow. It's a good tower. A sudden, a situation suddenly moves forward. This is good. And then there's this two of wands and the ten of cups here. Right? Honor yourself big time above all. And then any challenges or issues that arise around that, deal with it in that kind and understanding manner, right? It's important to be yourself. This is good though. I really like this energy for you guys, Leo, especially for your, your last um, birthday reading. So follow that. Um, it looks really good. I wish you guys all the best. Don't forget that new moon hits on the 16th this week. So you could definitely come in with this new moon in your sign. So that is awesome. I'm excited for you, Leos. Again, happy birthday. Till next time, take care.